losing in life is so important whether it's getting dumped getting fired losing a game those feelings where things didn't work out your way that's important because it lets you know this is the bad feeling that comes when it goes wrong and you improve and then it makes the good feelings of victory all the better i live for today and i don't i don't care what happened yesterday mm -hmm. i live in the moment because that's the only thing we have in our lives are moments moments in time and as soon as i've gone out that door we can never reverse back and, and play it again because it's real life, it's not a dress rehearsal. So I don't really care what happens five minutes ago. I'm just gonna keep going today and living today and enjoying myself because I know what God gives, God can take away in the flash of a second. Mm -hmm. It can all be turned upside down and I've experienced it. Sometimes in life when everything's going great for you and you don't know good from bad, you need to experience a little rain sometimes so you can enjoy the sunshine again. And now I'm happy for the, we're all looking for this golden purpose. Is it this, is it that, is it making money? It, is, is it my family? Motherfucker, the purpose is you. Every fucking day I wake up and I don't want to do some fucking shit. I'm like, okay, man, do you want to be a bitch today? Do you want to walk around all day knowing that you could, but you didn't? You have to learn how to get up and do shit when you ain't got no fucking 5K, no 10K, nothing. Nothing exists. Your life fucking sucks. You're in the fucking dungeon. But guess what, motherfucker, I'm still going to get it. The only thing you do for success, there's no discount. It's sweat, it's blood, it's tears. There is no discount. You can't get 50% off. It's sweat, it's blood, it's tears. There are no shortcuts to success. Stop thinking they are. And stop wanting people to put you somewhere that you didn't earn. While you're over there watching me and talking about me, I'm working. I'm working hard. I'm taking things to the next level. You keep gossiping and I'll keep working. You keep talking smack and I'll keep working. You keep focusing on everything and everyone else and I'll keep working. And when you finally look around at where you are and where I'm at, you realize that you have nothing left to talk smack about. That you will lose and I will win. Sometimes when you're in a dark place, you think you've been buried, but actually, you've been planted. I believe that everything happens for a reason. People change so that you can learn to let go. Things go wrong so that you can learn to appreciate them when they're right. And sometimes good things fall apart so better things can fall together. The masters make the hardest things in the world look easiest. And in the moments where you push yourself, when no one else is around, those moments have a tendency to lead to success. When you're waking up every morning by yourself and you're fucking getting after it by yourself, and it's the hidden work. People see one minute you know, video of me running this and like these fighters, you know? They see during the fight or after the fight. They don't see these motherfucking men, what they deal with every fucking day. All those mornings that you don't want to fucking get up, and I look at it as like a rock, and you find this fucking rock, and that rock is you. And every day you fight not wanting to get up. And you do anyway, you chip another piece off that fucking rock. And every day you fucking eat the right foods. And every day you go to train, you train harder and harder and harder and harder. And you get up earlier. And all these things you do to start forming yourself. You're chipping another fucking piece of that rock up. Before you know it, you have this beautiful fucking piece of artwork that you built. You've just gone through a breakup and it's the worst thing you've ever been through. Some of you, you lost your job and you thought that job was it. And so all of a sudden you're sitting there and you're thinking, man, I thought my life was together, now it's in shambles at my feet. No, it's not. It's all right. A blade does not become strong until it's been through the fire several times. And this is just your first or second time through the fire. And there's a lot of hammer work that has to take place. And then you're going to have to go back in the forge again. And it's hot and it melts you down and you're uncomfortable. And then life is going to pull you out and it's going to put you on an anvil and it's going to hammer on you some more. And you're going to say, what, am I done yet? No. You've got a lot more forge time left. You've got a lot more hammer blows left. And it takes time. Embrace the process. You say, Dwayne, what process? Life. Embrace the journey and the process of life.